adore him and we just want to just lift him up and just to praise his holy name. Like one of the old songs say, if we had a thousand tongues, it still wouldn't be enough to praise him. Amen. His holy name. Amen. 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 All praise. Amen. And we just want to thank him for allowing us a chance to come out to his house and to lift his lift him up and to praise his holy name. Holy amen. Name. All praise. Amen. Amen. So we have had our large appetizer. But in having our appetizer, there was always room for the main course. Amen. And, amen. and that's whatever you you like or love to eat. That's your main course. But of course, at this ministry is the words of the true and uncompromised words of the most high. All amen. praises. All that praises. Is the main course at this ministry. All amen. praises. Amen, amen. And like I always say, when the man of the most high stand up here, please do not focus on the man. Focus on the most high in the man. Amen. Thank you. And please Hallelujah. don't focus on the messenger. Focus focus on the message. Amen. Because we truly know because of the signs and the wonders that we are living in the last day. All Amen. Praises. All praises. Amen. So we don't want to miss out on anything that the Most High has for his people. Amen. All praises. Amen. We want to reverse that thing. We want to flip that thing. We want to get rid of these curses. curses. Amen. That's it. And we want to get to our blessings. Amen. That's it. The only way we can get to our blessings is to be obedient. Amen. The reason Amen. we're in the predicament that we're in today is because of our disobedience. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. right. And just like the scripture said this morning, all our father doing is punishing us, which we are his children. That's for right. For being disobedient. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. When we stop being disobedient, that's when we're going to start reaping the benefits of his goodness, of his grace, and of his mercy. All Amen. Praises. All praise. Amen. Amen. By Shem, you all shot. So I'm not going to hold you. So without further ado, we're going to have the man of this house. Amen. The shepherd Amen. of this house come forth and give us some mighty words. From the Most High, from Yahweh and His precious Son Yahweh Shai, Apostle Nathaniel Madden. All praise, all praise be to Amen. All amen. Praise. Amen. Amen. Bible tells us that tells us that except that two agree. There's no possible way that they can walk together. And I want to thank the Most High for allowing, amen, um, us to be able to walk together for uh, uh, the years that we have been together and the truth of his word, amen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we ain't here to sugarcoat. We ain't here to put no uh, 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 sugar all on your lip, on, on our lips, and then try to give you a smooth, nice word. We're, we're not here for that. We're here that we may save a nation of people from being totally annihilated by the Most High. Now, he didn't give us grace, and that grace is sufficient, believe me, Amen. but we are taking abuse of that, and that's the reason why it says in the Bible that he's going to destroy two-thirds of his people. Amen. And a lot of things are going to come out today according to what the scriptures say. Because what I say, I need these words that the scriptures say. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. there's some things that I too am trying to learn and get to the point to where when he come back, I can hear those great words. Well done. Well done. My good and faithful servant. Now let's go to the most high and, and the Lord's prayer. And the most have already told us, listen, Israel, if you don't, if you don't never understand nothing, understand these words of Christ. Christ said, when you don't know what to pray, you ain't got to look for nothing fancy. You ain't got to go try to create a whole new prayer to the most high. Because the majority of us sinners anyway. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the majority of us is sinners already. But the thing is, is that we have to go to the Father through the Son. We can't go no other way. Man try to come any other way. He's a thief and a robber. 
Okay? So the only way we can go to the Father is through him. So He, the Bible tells us he's not hearing our prayers. No way. Okay? So that's what the advocate is there for. The one that stands in the middle of us. He stands there for Christ. Okay? Yahweh shot. He stands there in the gap for us. So when he told us what to pray, he said, let's pray this prayer. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive others who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, and we know you will deliver us from all types of evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now that is the key thing to the most high's ears. That sounds like nothing but straight up music to his ears. Why? Because he's hearing it come through his son. Amen. Okay? So this, the, the, you can forget all that other stuff that, 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 that Christ is God and he's the father and he's this and he's that. Some of you brothers is so twisted in your mind, your mind will never be able to be open up to understand what the, what, what the scriptures is actually saying. Okay, because there's several accounts where the father spoke, the son was, was, was being baptized, and the Holy Spirit came down on him like a dove, which was the word of the Most High. So it, it's, it's time out for us to be so ignorant. It's time for us to wake up and realize that this is what got us where we are today, is disobedience and trying to make up things and make things fit me. The way, way, way I want people to, 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 to see it. There's only one way to see it, and that's through the eyes of the Most High Yahweh. Amen. We can't see it no other way. All praises. Amen. All right, let's take our seat and let's get busy into this word. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I, I, if I have to give this uh, testimony every single Sabbath. I'm going to give it every single Sabbath. If I have to give it every single uh, word study, I'm going to give it. It's every single time the word that is being uh, read, read in the beginning of, of our, I'm not going to even call it a service, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the beginning of of our, our Sabbath fellowship, okay, is always lining up with the, the, the message that the Most High has given us. It, it always lines up. And 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 when I title this on the on, on the um um YouTube, I'm gonna title this You Have to Walk together. It doesn't matter what you believe in. You cannot be with another person except that you walk together. I don't care who it is. You say you believe in Christ, Yahweh, <coughs> guess what? You have to walk together with him. There's no other way to ex explain this. Now, if if, if what got us in trouble, if what got us in trouble and got us where we are today, where we have nothing in every neighborhood uh, we live in, it's always raggedy out, get old, can't get out, trying to make it out, trying to do whatever we can do to survive. All right? We don't own the homes. We don't own nothing. We ain't got nothing but heartaches and pain. And hard heads. That's what we have as a people. Well, it's time out for all of that. If we would just do what the scriptures told us this morning, take his laws and wrap them around our neck and place them where? In our hearts. That's, 
That's what he said do. But since we so disobedient, we won't do nothing that he says to do. It's kind of almost like when he see us, it's like, I wonder why my people would not just wake up and say, okay, I'm tired of living this life. Let's begin to do what it takes to live accordingly to the way I want them to live. Why is that so hard? Well, I'm going to tell you why. This is what Christ sees. He sees shame on us. He sees shame on us. And before I even go to our foundation of scripture, let me go somewhere. And I'm going to prove to you that Israel is not supposed to be ashamed. Let's go to Isaiah, uh, the 45th, uh, uh, 40, 40, I think it's 45th chapter. Because this dropped in my heart, 40, 45 and 6. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go to our foundation of scripture first. Let's go to our foundation of scripture first. Yeah, I, 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 I can't do it. Let's go to Isaiah uh, uh, chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nursed and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do it not know, my people do it not consider. Ah, uh, y'all praises, all praises. Now, I want you to listen to me very closely. This whole sermon is going to be the precept to that. So, open up thy ears and listen very well. Close your eyes and don't pay no attention to the person that's speaking because that's what get a lot of y'all so lost because when you look at the person that's speaking the truth, you want to say it's him talking and you can't hear the Bible. You cannot hear the Most High. You cannot hear the Son, Yahweh Shai. And that's a lot of our problems, okay? Let's listen to what the word says. The word is we're dealing with shame, all right? Dig it if you would. Isaiah 45 and 16. They shall be ashamed and also confounded. All of them, they shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. All right, we're going to go into confusion together. We are going to all be ashamed. And that's where the enemy has used this Scripture against us because now we want to get off into these churches and do all this other stuff that is not of Yahweh, neither is it of his son Yahweh. Nowhere in the scriptures have it ever told us to go away from the law, to go away from his commandments, to go away from his statutes. Nowhere in the Bible, but yet we take and we let an uh, enemy. The so-called red man changed everything about our history book and how we are to live. Remember on last week, we learned that we are above all people. We're not equal to other people. We're the most highest children. Amen. We're above everybody else. Can't nobody else touch us. You know what I'm saying? Like MC Hammer used to say, can't touch this. We are above. And we're going to always be above in his eyesight. Why? Because he knows that one third of his people are going to get it right. They're going to begin to listen to everything that is said. And the new covenant, we're going to hear about the new covenant today. And, and we're going to see what the Most High is telling us. Now, now he said, my people are ashamed. And what did Christ say? If you be ashamed of me, if you be ashamed of me uh, uh, in front of your friends, I'm going to be ashamed of you. Now, look at our people. They are too ashamed to, to, to drop these lies that they are up in these churches doing. And they know they're not supposed to be doing it according to the scriptures. And, and they, they, they shouldn't be doing it according to the Old Testament nor the New Testament. All of it tells us the same. How can I know what the new... Matter of fact, matter of fact, if you got a, a, a love novel and you're reading this love novel, and it's got 500, 500 uh, uh, pages to it. You think you can get an understanding of that book by starting at page 250? <laughs> no way. 
You have to start from the beginning to know what the end is talking about. There's no way you can start in the middle of no book. And say, well, well, we, we just only read the New Testament and study the New Testament. Well, that's the reason why you don't know what the Most High's will is. Because you're starting somewhere that you don't know what the, what the uh, uh, starting gate has allowed you to understand. You have to understand it before you can go into this. And so, just like, just like women wants to be in these churches preaching. Let's just take that for an example. It's just an example. They want to be up in these churches preaching. But they forget what the Most High said unto Adam about his wife never having authority over him ever again. You see what I'm saying? So that's how we understand the Most High don't want women. Why? Because the, before it says anything about that, a woman should be sick. It tells us, for the Most High is not the author of confusion. With women pastors, it is nothing but confusion. They are too weak. They're not made to stand up there before these men and dominate these men. And that's the reason why Satan comes in and wear them out. And the Bible even says the saints is woe out. They're woe out. They can't take no more. Okay? And this is the reason why. It's because of our being disobedient. And so he said we are ashamed. We are ashamed. And that's the reason why two thirds gonna be departed. But what the fort, what the seventeen said, Deke? But Israel shall be saved. No, hold on, Deke. Stop. You're going too fast. I need these knucklehead people to hear this. He said Israel shall what? Be saved. Be Lord. saved. Not everybody. He said Israel shall be saved. And who? With an everlasting in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed. Ye shall nor, not be ashamed. Nor what? Nor confound. Uh huh. World without, end. world without end. There's your uh, God so loved the world right there. He loved Israel. He loved Israel. And how can we walk with him if we're not doing nothing that he has commanded us to do? We're still doing the same things that got us into slavery. That got us into punishment. You see that? And that's, this scripture wasn't even part of my notes. This scripture here was, was the most I just dropped it on me. Because we're dealing with you have to walk together. All right? Now, now that we got an understanding on this, all right, let's go to Amos 3. To the book of the prophets. And let me tell you something. Because the prophets. Words. Is in the Old Testament. As y'all call it. That's the reason why you got to. Be, you got to think like Christ think. Christ said. I come in the volume of. The book. I, I just don't come. In, in one, 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 one part of the book. I just don't, The whole book is about Christ. It leads us all the way up to Christ. My son, in Genesis, my, my seed, or the woman's seed, she'll what, do what? His heel shall bruise his head, and his head shall bruise the heel, right? So you got to realize this thing, this thing we're talking, this thing we're talking about is, 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 is common sense stuff, y'all. But yet y'all want to keep on getting the glory for yourself. Yeah, y'all want to keep on, yeah, and he ho, and wah, 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 and up there doing all this jumping and dancing and all this demonic stuff y'all doing in these so-called churches. And we're going to see it, but we're going to see why you do this. We're going to see why you do this in 2019, all right, out of this so-called old book, all right? Um, uh, what we say, Zechariah? I mean, Amos? Amos chapter three. So the book of the prophets is 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 a is a is a prophetic word given to Israel in these days. It didn't happen back then. This was a, 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 a revelated word given to Israel. If they don't get it right, what's going to happen? Now let's go and and read that deep. Verse one. Verse one. 
Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. So hold up. Now he said, he brought up the Edomites. He said he brought up the, the, the Hagronites. He said he brought up the, the Hamites. He said he brought up the, the, the uh, Mobites. He said he, all these other people that we send that the Most High brought up out of Egypt, where does it say that in the word? I think if I'm not mistaken and with my illiterate self, I think it says here this word that Yahweh has spoken against you. Oh, children of everybody, no, Israel. Read deep. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. What you say, D? <laughs> huh? I thought he knew everybody. I thought the most high knew everybody. What did he say? He say that again, D. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. We're the only people that he know. He don't know nobody else, don't care about nobody else. I told you on, 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 on yesterday week, yesterday Sabbath, I told you that, 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 that he created this chess board. The rest of us got to go buy a chess board. He created the chess board. He used the pawns. He used the queen. He used the king accordingly to how he want to use them. Now, there's rules and regulations to the chess board, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just like commandments. It's the same principle, okay? Same principle. And we're going to find out how the kings and queens are supposed to be. Read on, D. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. For all of your sins, I'm going to punish you. Now, did not the Bible tell us curse is the man that hanging from a tree? So who hung from trees? Yahweh shot and Negroes. So we know, see, listen, we know that we are a cursed people, but we don't believe that we're Yah's people. How, how can we not See that we are those we are those people, but yet we have Stockholm syndrome got us so bad we want everybody else saved and don't give a damn about ourselves. After all we've been through, all the other nations that had us in slavery, all the other nations has rised up above us, all the other nations has all the wealth of the earth, and we have nothing. Even in our own communities, they have it all. In our communities, how do they work, D? I know where I'm from. We had everything. Planes, trains, automobiles, everything. Soda companies, pool hall, restaurants, uh, uh, clothes stores. We had everything. Doctors, lawyers, everything in our community. And now, we have the Edomites owning everything in our community that a black man paid, 30, I think, 30 some thousand dollars for all that area. And now it belongs to the Edomites. You see, we have come down very low and the others has came up very high above us, all because we are a hard-headed this open people. I'm telling you, Yah's commandments is not grievous. They're not hard. You have no reason to go get a union steward to fight against it and grieve against his uh uh uh, uh his uh, uh law statutes and commandments. They are easy. We just gotta get ourselves out of that what 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 uh uh uh, Isaiah 45 said in 17, we, can, we cannot be ashamed. We can't be ashamed of the most.
side. Read on, D. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together? Now, that is a question for each and every one of us. Can we walk together? And I hate to say it too. Imagine if the whole nation walked together. Imagine how the power. Imagine listening to the song, You Are a Superhero. Now see, this is the stuff that give me chills when I, when I read the word of the Most High and see that he's telling me that he's only the father of me and my people. And when I say my people, don't try to get it twisted. Satan, I rebuke you right now in the name of Yahweh Shai. I'm not talking about me being authority over my people. I'm talking about my people as my people, my brothers and my sisters. And our children. And our mothers and fathers. We have lived in bondage too long. It's time to wake up. Is that not what the book told us in Romans chapter 13? It is now high time for Israel to wake up out of their sleep. I mean, we're in a sleep like we done took about 15, 20 sleep aids. I mean, we just numb. Looking for everybody else to get the glory. So, so it's like, it's like, ain't I hate being mean. I hate being, but I got to do what the most high say. I can't do what others want me to do. I can't, I just can't do it. I have to be obedient to the most high in everything that I do. So he said, what's that last phrase, said D? In three. Can two walk together except they be agreed? It can, 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 can. Is it possible? Is, is it a might? It is a definite that two walking together, agreeing up on the same thing, they can have anything they want. Even when I was in, I'm going to tell you how powerful that, that is. Even when me and my wife was walking in disobedient in the Christian church, because we was disobedient because they ain't where we were supposed to be. We were supposed to be in the Bible, okay? We were supposed to be in the nation of Israel. So, so, one time, we, our air conditioner had broke down. So this brother came over. He fixed the air conditioner for us. And he, you know, he, you know, you know it, that's very expensive work, okay? It costs more money to put Freon in than, than, than it do to, to rebuild or just buy a whole new one, okay? And so he said, uh, he said, I'll tell y'all what. He said something about you two. He said, uh, y'all just go in there and... And, and and talk it over on what y'all y'all want to pay. So my wife went over here, me and I went inside and we talked and I said, you go over there, you write down on, on a piece of paper what you think we ought to get a brother. And and I I go over here and I'm gonna write down a piece of paper and we're gonna come together and see where we at. Okay. We both wrote down a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. And so the brother said, we, we said, this is what we come up with. Both of us came up with the same thing. And he said, no, 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 that's too much. I, I, I didn't come here to, to charge out that kind of money. And so what we did is we said, okay, let's go back in. We went back in the house and I said, let's do this. You said 100, I said 100. Let's give him 200. All praises. You see what I'm saying? Let's give him 200. Because we already come together with that amount. Why should we change it? You know what I'm saying? So I just we just gave him that and told him, just take the rest as a blessing. Whatever you thought that we should have gave you, accept that out of this and take the rest for a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what it costs. You know what I'm saying? I know what air conditioners cost. But when we walk together, me and her walk together in agreement, and this was the outcome of it. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine if we do this in our daily-to-day -day life. There wouldn't be no 
different thoughts and no arguments, no fussing, no fighting. You'll know where you stand with, with the most high. And, and, and I know where I stand with the most high. And your place is going to always be up under me, never above me, never under my feet. But you stand on the side of me. Where were you supposed to be? But without having the authority. The, the scriptures tells us a lot of things deep that a lot of us don't follow. It tells the woman, it said, you are Sarah's daughter. And Sarah called Abraham Lord. You know what I'm saying? But that's, but well, watch this. If I'm your Lord, meaning I'm your kingdomship, Okay, then what if I tell you to do something or request that you do something you're supposed to do, right? If not, if you if you disobey the king's uh, decree, what happens? It's my wife chopping head off. Hey, that's the way it was. Okay, so in in so many ways, if you're not doing what I ask you to do <laughs> as, as 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 your lord, then 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 there's a problem. You call me Lord, but you're faking and shaking. I call you my queen, but I'm out messing with all the other queens. See, it doesn't make no sense. It, this thing does not make no sense. And I use this as an example, just so that people can see, see how it is when two walk together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 take and, and look at how, 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 how everybody else left this ministry when it started going another way. And it's funny that the most I told me that y'all going to lead to because you can't stand this truth. And sure enough, they, they were already had in their heart to leave. They never said that they was leaving, but they slowly graduate left, gradually left. Why? Because it wasn't meant because they wasn't walking what? Together. Okay? But here... You see, we are walking together is the reason why we're still together. One of the main points of, of prayer that you pray a lot is that one can't fall for the what? For the other. That's walking together. Walking together. And that it means that, 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 that think about it. In, in Babylon, the city of Babel, which meant confusion, okay? They did not understand each other. But before it was called Bible, what was it called? The city of agreement. <laughs> the city of them walking together, talking together, all with one accord. And it had enough power that it brought the most high over his throne. Now imagine if Israel walked together. How long do you think it would take for Christ to come back? Wouldn't be long at all, D. He'll be back just like that. He look at my people. Oh, look, they done came together. Bam, Father, come on, Father. Let's go get them now. You see? That's the reason. See, and, and, and you say, man, he's sitting up there joking. I'm not joking. I'm, this, I'm serious about this. And I'm going to tell you why I'm so serious about it. Why do you think that the Father did not tell Christ when he's going to send him back? Huh? It's one reason why, Deacon. Because Christ loved us enough that he would have told us everything. He would have told us when to get ready. He would have told us when to do what we need to do. Why? Because we're his bride. We're Christ's bride. We're the father's children. Christ is who? His children. How do we get in? By being the father's in-laws, children-in-law, son-in-law, daughter-in-law. You see what I'm saying? Because we marry into the kingdom ship. Just like that black woman when he married over there. Well, she, that, her mama's black. She's a Edomite. And when he married into the kingdom ship, because the way they think is that your seed is the seed is by the mother. You are what your mother is. And we know that's a lie. We know that's a lie because the Bible tells us it's by the house of your father. Okay? That's how your pedigree is 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 is, is um 
uh, taught. Okay, so so here it says, except the two be in agreement. That's the only way that they can uh, 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 make things happen. So when you stop and you look at that, you say, dang, that's a lot of power. Because walking together means a lot in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? means a lot. Because when we have to be like the most high, like the Bible tells us, be therefore perfect for the Father is perfect. Be there holy for I am holy is what Christ said, right? That means we have to walk like Christ walked, right? That means we have to walk like the Father walked. How did the Father walk is all in the commandments. Statutes, laws. He's not going to break his own statutes, laws, and commandments. How, it's crazy. How can I be? It's kind of like the, 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 especially the Dallas police. Okay? It's just like these wicked police be doing all over this, this United Snakes of America. They want to give you a ticket, pull you over and give you a ticket because they can't see in your car. But ain't they supposed to be an example? Of how it's supposed to be done. And they walk, they drive around with the so-called cocaine tent. That's what we, what we used to call it in the old days. Because you can't see what they're doing. They can be in the back seat sniffing cocaine. You don't know what nobody's doing with that dark tent like that. Right? So if you don't want, if you don't want me to drive around like that, and it's against the law to me, what give you the right to break the law and you're supposed to be the law and uphold the law. You see? There's no way that the most high is anything like them dogs. Nothing like them. Amen. All praises. Go to Acts 4 and, 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 and 32. They don't get no, it don't get no better than that. I can almost that's that, that what's that? One. Hold up, B. Okay, now let's go, let's go to um. Uh, let's, do, let's do a precept on Amos. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, 2 Corinthians first. Let's go to 2 Corinthians first. 2 Corinthians um, 6 and 14. 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Then we'll go to uh, uh, 